this video here, okay? I'm nervous. Uh, when, when you when you think about movies, how you know in movies they they there's all these bodybuilders, all these Mr. Olympias, but in this movie they quote you. I mean, it's it's John Q. John Q. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, baby. It was amazing. Actually, the director of the movie um, was the brother of one of my trainers. So in that movie, um, remember Denzel got shot. Mm -hmm. One of my trainers was the person who shot him. In the movie? In the movie. And his brother was the director wow. of the movie. So how that happened was he was training his brother, and then I would train um, afterwards. And sometimes he would hang over and watch. And uh, after about a year, um, his brother said, um, wow, you guys are amazing. I got to give tribute to you guys somehow, the hard work. You just, you just look at you, you don't think of that. And then he came back and he asked me, he goes, Flex, I have this movie, can I use your name and likeness? And I'm like, yeah, sure, no well, So they there. asked you before they used yeah, it? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, his brother did. Uh, and I just, I couldn't believe it because um, I had been through a car accident. So I was eager to watch the movie and it started off with that horrific car accident just, and it grabbed me because I'd been through so, and I have a son. I have two sons, so the, what wouldn't you do for your, 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 your so oh, the movie just hooked me, it wouldn't let movie, me go. By the way. Yeah, yeah, amazing, but um, that's just beautiful, man. Just again, you know, to end it by, you know, saying just to be, you know, accepted for your craft and what you've done and uh, not viewed whether you're black or white or straight or gay or anything. I think everybody in the world is striving to do that in their various different ways so to be respected that way and somebody think i have some self-worth or value is just uh from this little kid that come from the ghetto in fresno is just you know how many posters you've been on how many walls you've been on man like how many kids like that's not just a movie scene man that's like yeah. real lifetimes millions this last one here i want since we're doing this this is your guy and here's what he says about you okay I want to see what you think about when you listen to this. You know what's crazy about Flex? <laughs> Everybody views him as one of the greatest bodybuilders. Never. Ever. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Who are your top five? See, I got Arnold, I got Lee, I got Phil, Flex, and Kevin. Ahead of Dorian? See, like, you wouldn't put Dorian ahead of Flex? No, no, I got, I got Flex ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest difference for wow. you from Kevin and Flex's physique? Flex had better shape. He had better shape. Yeah, I think Flex had better shape than me. Are you in contact right now with Flex? Yeah, my best friend in the world. Yeah. Just was texting him yesterday. He just had surgery again. Can't believe it. You know, again, um, like I said, I don't think anyone's ever going to beat what Ronnie brought to the table. They might beat his, um, his number. But they, you can't take a best of all time pitcher and match it up against him and, and be defeated. And uh, we just always hit it off. We were always friends. And, uh, and our friendship really, truly was tested when he turned around and beat me for the first time. Because that's when he found out what was really going on, right? And we just stayed the test of time. And uh, you know, I just want to give him a shout out. He just had a hip replacement again, you know, just yesterday. And, uh, and we talk, you know, we both been through some extraordinary pain. And I'm like, man, I'm bleeding for you. He goes, no, it's okay. You know, it's okay. He goes, uh, still haven't caught up to you in your surgeries. I'm like, you don't want that record. He goes, no, I don't. <laughs> he goes, I don't want that record. So, wow.